Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered today for a twin celebration, the World Teachers Day 2020 and the certification ceremony of the Blackboard uh, graduates uh, for the professional development of teachers. It is now my honor and pleasure to give the floor to our director, Dr. Sadia Sanchez, uh, to present the opening remarks and open the meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Officials of Caribbean Ministries of Education, Secretaries General of Caribbean National Commissions uh, for UNESCO, teachers and educators, partners and colleagues, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the World Teachers Day 2020 celebrations. At this occasion, I am delighted to honor the teachers and graduates of the UNESCO Blackboard training for professional development of teachers in blended and online learning strategies. Today's celebrations take on a special meaning in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. As we reevaluate the leadership role of teachers in mitigating the risk of the pandemic on teaching and learning. WTD, provides an annual occasion to take stock of achievements and raise awareness around challenges facing teachers and the role in the achievement of the global education targets. This year, WTD is celebrated with the theme, Teachers Leading in Crisis, Reimagining the Future. An unprecedented event the COVID-19 pandemic challenges already constrained education systems in various new ways, resulting in revisioning of how teachers teach and more generally work. This year's theme considers the role of teachers in building resilience and shaping the future of education and the teaching profession. The issue of teacher leadership in relation to crisis responses is not just timely, but critical in terms of the contributions teachers have recently made to provide remote learning, support vulnerable populations, reopen schools, and ensure that learning gaps in the curriculum are being mitigated. Around the world, Teachers are working individually and collectively to find solutions and create new learning environments for their students to ensure that learning could be continued. Without much warning and with little time to prepare, teachers have had to modify or, or condense the curriculum and adapt lesson plans to carry on with instruction whether via the internet, mobile phone, television, or radio broadcast. In areas where there is poor or no connectivity to the internet or mobile networks, teachers have prepared take-home packages for their students. The move to online learning has required capacity for innovation and creativity never before attempted in order to keep children engaged and learning. Teachers have formed communities of practice and support groups through social media and platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. In response to the COVID-19 crisis, the UNESCO Office for the Caribbean collaborated with the Global Education Coalition, partnered Blackboard to enable professional development in online teaching and learning strategies in the Caribbean. Our partnership with the University of West Indies and Blackboard enable us to respond to the challenges teachers are facing in the Caribbean seats and as we undergo a rapid digital transformation and expand the classroom walls through online and remote teaching and learning. 
in response to the overwhelming request by member and associate member states for capacity building, several initiatives support of teachers have been implemented today, to date, to date. First, UNESCO University of West Indies Open Campus Distance Education Workshop for master trainers and teachers. In addition, within the framework of the UNESCO Global Coalition for Education, we initiated a pilot project with Blackboard in the Caribbean to prepare teachers in online and blended learning, as I already mentioned it. As part of the pilot initiative with the Blackboard, we invited all countries covered by the cluster office to select 40 teachers and master's teachers as the primary and secondary levels in the first trench and cascade to an additional 300 teachers across the Caribbean at pilot stage before it's scaling up. No, we have just completed the four week Blackboard Academy teachers capacity building workshop in August, Marco. September. I am delighted to congratulate the 30 master trainers and teachers from the Caribbean who have successfully completed this rigorous program. You have demonstrated your commitment to teaching and learning despite competing priorities and demands of their time. You are the core group of graduates who will now take the skills you have learned to your countries, schools, and communities to empower other teachers to enrich learning for all, leaving no child behind. We thank Blackboard Academy for their partnerships in enabling us to respond to the challenges of our teachers. I specifically thank Dr. Joel Armando, Product Manager, Blackboard Academy, for her excellent and timely support and the course instructor, Ms. Melissa Mertz, for her diligence and care in imparting the training. Thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to read the joint statement of World Teachers 2020. World Teachers Joint Statement from Audrey Azoulay, Director General of UNESCO, Guy Ryder, Director General International Labor Organization, Henrietta H. Ford, Executive Director, UNICEF, David Ewers, General Secretary, Education International on the occasion of World Teachers Day 2020. Teachers, leading in crisis, remaining, reimagining, excuse me, reimagining the future. Every year, World Teachers Day reminds us of the critical role teachers play in achieving inclusive quality education for all. This year's World Teachers Day has an even greater significance in light of the challenges that teacher has faced during the COVID-19 crisis. As the pandemic has shown, they make a crucial contribution to ensuring continuity of learning and supporting the mental health and well-being of their students. Because of COVID-19, nearly 1.6 billion learners, more than 90% of the world's total enrolled student population have been affected by school closures. The COVID-19 crisis has also affected over 63 million teachers, highlighted persistent weaknesses in many education systems and exacerbated inequalities with devastating consequences for the most marginalized. In this crisis, teachers have shown, as they have done so often, great leadership and innovation in ensuring that learning never stops, that no learner is left behind. Around the world, they have worked individually and collectively 
to find solutions and create new learning environments for their students to allow the education to continue. Their role advising on school reopening plans and supporting students with the return to school is just as important. We now need to think beyond the COVID-19 and work to build greater resilience in our education systems so we can respond quickly and effectively to these and other such crises. This means protecting education financing, investing in high quality initial teacher education, as well as continuing the professional development of the existing teacher workforce. With our urgent action and increased investment, a learning crisis could turn into learning a learning catastrophe. Even before COVID-19, more than half of the all 10 years old in low to middle income countries could not understand a simple written story. To build a more resilient teacher workforce in times of crisis, all teachers should be equipped with digital and pedagogical skills to teach remotely, online, and through blended or hybrid learning, whether in high, low, or no tech environments. Governments should ensure the availability of digital infrastructure and connectivity everywhere, including in rural and remote areas. In the context of COVID-19, governments, social partners, and other key actors have an even greater responsibility regarding teachers. We call on governments to protect teachers' safety, health, and well-being as well as their employment, to continue improving teachers' working conditions and to involve teachers and their representative organizations in the COVID-19 educational response and recovery. Today, we collectively celebrate teachers for their continued commitment to their students and for contributing to the achievement of the 2030 target under Sustainable Development Goal 4. We commend educated educators for the central role they have played and continue to play in responding to and recovering from this pandemic. Now, it is the time to recognize the role of teachers in helping to ensure a generation of students that can reach their full potential and their and the importance of education for short-term stimulus, economic growth, and social cohesion during and after COVID-19. Now, it is the time to reimagine education and achieve our vision of equal access to quality learning for every child and young person. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you so much, uh, Director, for uh, sharing with us your opening remarks and also reading for us the joint statement uh, for World Teachers Day 2020, by, which is by UNICEF, UNESCO, and others uh, collectively. So thank you very much. Uh, our colleague from headquarters, uh, uh, Valton Sir Mendes, unfortunately, is away from his desk today, but he has specially asked me to convey his congratulations to all the new graduates. Uh, uh, he is very happy that uh, the, we've completed the first phase of uh, the Blackboard uh, pilot uh, initiative, and we have already a core uh, team of 30 uh, certified uh, master trainers and teachers in the Caribbean region. Uh, and he also wanted to acknowledge that um, uh, and thank Antonia Baines for representing uh, the Caribbean region at the United Nations General Assembly on the 25th of September. Uh, so uh, she was able to take the experiences that we've all had collectively in this region uh, with the Blackboard training. And she shared 
her challenges and lessons learned from this training at the UN General Assembly. So he was very, uh, he wanted to congratulate all the graduates and also thank Antonia for uh, sharing uh, her experience at the UN General Assembly. And uh, now it is really my pleasure to ask uh, Joel Armando to uh, share with us her uh, you know, um, presentation. And also uh, Joel, uh, you have been instrumental in enabling this partnership. So thank you very much from all of us for making this thank happen. You. Thank you. Thank you very much, Payal, and, and thank you uh, to the, the director, Sadia. Really nice meeting you today. And yeah, I, before I, I would take the time to present uh, the next steps in the project, but before that, I, I really want to thank you all the graduates today, all the certified uh, teachers, uh, because of the tremendous work that you're doing in keeping the continuity of education. And on top of that, taking the time to develop uh, your, your knowledge and to continue learning. So thank you, thank you very much. That's really amazing. And I, I want to thank you for that. I want to thank also Farial, uh, Dr. Farial, Lucette and Latoya for the amazing uh, organization and support, the proactiveness, proactiveness to make this happen. <laughs> Farial was the first one to ask for this and, 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 and the first uh, pilot is in the Caribbean thanks to, to the action. So thank you very much for that. And of course, thank you, Melissa, for the commitment and rigor that you uh, demonstrated by conducting this course. So yeah, th thank you everyone. I'm going to share my screen for a minute just because you might be uh, wondering how this continues. <laughs> so I want just quickly uh, and you let me know if you can see my screen, I hope, and I will. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> um, I will move this to a slideshow. And yes, so the, we, we talked about five weeks ago. <coughs> Sorry. About uh, five weeks ago about this project and the objectives that we had for the full project, the pilot. And at the moment, we said the, the main objective was to enable this group of educators to become facilitators, to become master trainees uh, for the online learning and blended strategies course. We just completed the first step and the most important one in this journey, which is these 30 educators taking the course and passing the requirements to approve the course. Uh, the next step are related to helping you to feel comfortable in delivering this course using the platform that you will be using. And that's what we will be doing for the rest of the um, next uh, four or five weeks. And then it will be your turn <laughs> to be the teachers and to uh, teach this course to other 200 people or maybe a bit more <laughs> uh, if we need. So this, uh, we are really halfway uh, of, of the journey and uh, you have taken the online course. You are now part, part of a community of other teachers that are part of the Blackboard Academy community. And we will send you uh, the information on how to be part of that community and if you need support. And you will be able to communicate with other uh, facilitators that are doing something similar in different parts of the world. world. And we will also uh, share with you this facilitator kit that will help you to deliver the course in the future. Um, so we, we are, we are as, as I said, uh, kind of mid, midway of this plan. And you have taken the blended learning and online strategy certificate. Uh, the two courses that you will continue doing are shorter, I promise. <laughs> and I'm sure they will be easier <laughs> because you've done the most uh, hard part of the work, uh, that are becoming familiar with the tools that you will be using. So Blackboard Collaborate and Blackboard Learn. And hopefully that will be something that you can add to your toolkit as a teacher and, and will help you to also use other technologies that you might have available. So that's what we will be doing for the next um, around four weeks. We give us five, five weeks to make sure that everyone can, can continue. And we will be starting the Blackboard Collaborate for K-12 course uh, on the 20th of October. And then uh, the Blackboard Ultra for K-12 uh, right after that one. When we finish that, uh, we will do an evaluation of the course, uh, of, of the full project. And we will be able to start the second part of, uh, the third part actually of, 
of this uh, project, which is cascading the the training. So basically, when you become uh, the the teachers of uh, the online, the blended learning and online strategies uh, course. Um, we we met with the team a few a, a week ago, and we decided that it would be best to start that at the end of January when you are back um, in in after holidays. So and so we have time also to make any adjustments that are needed after the evaluating the experience. So that's basically when you will be teaching this course uh, if if you are of course uh, available and happy to do it. So that's uh, the full plan, and, and of course, if you have any questions, uh, please you can send an email. You will have our our contact numbers, and, and make sure or any concerns. Uh, I'm I'm not sure today is a, it's a day for a celebration, <laughs> so we we want to take most of the time to celebrate your achievement, to celebrate uh, the the, the uh, completion of this course. But yeah, if you have any questions regarding the project, please uh, get in touch. We we can always uh, answer any concerns that might have. So thank you, thank you very much, and congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Joel, for uh, sharing with us the next steps. Because uh, so, so now the uh, I mean, in the midst of all our celebrations, it's also good to have a roadmap of where are we going next. And this has been uh, good. Then uh, we will now again gather on the 20th of October. And, and this means uh, uh, I would just like to share this with the graduates that we took a few uh, you know, e extra weeks for concluding this course to give the graduates the time to complete the assignments. In the same time, uh, we've, we've revisited. We are looking at what are the what is a good pacing. And we decided to push the the last phase of the pilot to January. Uh, so, and so we will you know, continue to have the commitment of our teachers and master trainers uh, uh, around, uh, you know, uh, till the end of this uh, pilot phase. And this has been really, um, uh, I think it's good to pace it out, uh, to give everyone the time because there are a lot of competing priorities and uh, everyone is, uh, you know, focusing on reopening of schools and a lot of other things. So this has been, uh, this is wonderful. And we hope to continue now with the core of 30. Now the next batch, it's going to be this group of graduates who are going to continue uh, to phase two and phase three. So thank you very much for showing us the roadmap, uh, uh, Joel. And um, now it is really my pleasure uh, to invite uh, Dr. Winsome Gordon, the Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Teaching Council to present her special remarks in commemoration of World Teachers Day. Uh, Dr. Gordon, uh, are you with us? Thank you. Good. It's nice to see you. Uh, Dr. Farrell Khan, <laughs> Program Specialist for Education and her team in the UNESCO office for the Caribbean is a very dedicated team, I must say, to quality education. Representatives of the Blackboard Academy, educational presenters, awardees, and all other stakeholders, greetings. Today is evidence of another milestone in the transformation of teaching and learning. The digital space has widened opportunities for learning spaces to accommodate all learners and their various learning styles. UNESCO has been lead, the leading organization in the advancement of education globally and its partnership with the Blackboard Academy and the Caribbean of Professionals signifies its commitment to excellence in the teaching profession. The program was timely and focused on the competencies for transition into the digital space for quality teaching and learning. It, it was directly aligned to the theme for World Teachers Day. Teachers leading in crisis, reimagining the future, equipping participants to continue to envision an effective borderless space for education. On behalf of the Jamaica Teaching Council and the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, I wish to congratulate you all and thank you for pursuing this initiative to its conclusion. To the organizers and presenters, you delivered despite any challenges that you might have had. And to the participants, you persevered to the end. 
One should not forget the technicians who were key in maintaining the connections. Although blended learning was always in the plans and programs for the management of education, the COVID-19 crisis accelerated its implementation. This learning experience is only the beginning. We have a long way to go in order to attain mastery in blended learning for all our teachers, enabling equity in education, an objective that seemed elusive. The Jamaica Teaching Council aspires to create a core of highly competent professionals in each subject area in the 63 quality education circles, QECs, covering the islands. QECs are learning communities of teachers. We are confident that the participants will share their experiences with the various QECs to enable sustained quality teaching and learning in Jamaica and the wider Caribbean to do likewise in established contexts. We are fully aware of the pivotal role of teachers in advancing the socioeconomic and development goals of the Caribbean. Presently, the Caribbean is progressing with its regional standards for the teaching profession. It's coordinated through CARICOM. Can such capacity building initiatives to provide quality education in an exclusive, sorry, in an inclusive manner are consistent with the plans and growth direction for the Caribbean region. The areas covered are priority for teachers in the Caribbean, and we would like to see them uploaded to your online perform platform. Workplace readiness is an enormous challenge in this transition, and we should continue to explore effective strategies. We therefore welcome international experiences to share ideas as we consolidate our space in the global community. Once again, congratulations to all as you continue to serve the cause of education and hence human development. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Dr. Gordon. On a very personal note, I would like to share with everyone that uh, Dr. Gordon is one of my mentors. And uh, who, when I joined UNESCO in 1995 as a young professional, uh, my director was Dr. Gordon. And my, my, my career at UNESCO in international education began with Dr. Gordon. So I am so grateful to you for all the guidance you have given me. And on World Teachers Day, uh, even though you were not my teacher, you guided me and you led me through uh, my first years as an international civil. You're doing so very well, Dr. Khan. Oh, but I'm beginning to feel proud of myself that I even met you. <laughs> no, it was wonderful. And we had some good parties also. We, I, remember yes, our, yes. I remember our rum and coke parties. And I remember the, the team retreats we used to have. It was a really great period of learning in my work environment. And uh, thank you very much. So thank it, you. Thank you. Really it's a joy to continue working with you. And now we come to the main part of our ceremony. Uh, and it, I, I'm in, uh, pleased to introduce Ms. Melissa Mertz, um, who is a K-12 senior teacher with Blackboard Academy. Uh, welcome on board, Ms. Melissa. Um, uh, I would like to mention that Ms. Melissa Mertz, she was a facilitator of uh, the Blackboard uh, training for the past 14 years, she has been with Blackboard and she has been an instructional designer, trainer, tech uh, support representative and project manager and has helped hundreds of schools and districts uh, to learn how to use various Blackboard products uh, to achieve their communication goals. Uh, most recently, she is proud to be facilitating uh, the Blackboard Academy K-12 blended learning course, which aims to prepare teachers for the unique ta challenges of online instruction. And we were so privileged to have uh, Miss Melissa as the instructor for this course. So thank you very much, uh, Melissa. The floor is yours. Thank you so very much, Farial, um, for that lovely introduction. 
So uh, I wanted to start my piece of this ceremony uh, with some comments and uh, thoughts and reflections about, um, you know, how it went and, and how everyone has progressed and how valuable I think everyone found it. And um, when I was trying to figure out how to summarize it, um, I was looking back at the self-study guides that everyone had to complete for the course, uh, prompting you to reflect on how the material applies to you personally in your classrooms or your online classrooms. And um, so many of you were so eloquent in those uh, self-study guides um, that I thought I would um, take a page from your book and read a couple remarks from those because they're uh, very representative of uh, pretty much everyone having the same reaction to the material and the course itself. So um, the first one I'll read says, when I first began this course, I thought that creating an online class would be a breeze, a walk in the park, if I can use that expression. I am quite tech savvy. So for me, collecting the content and putting it together would be easy. But after completion of this course, that process, thought process has changed completely. There are so many other factors besides having content that one must consider when creating courses for the virtual environment. I know now I must also, as an educator, ensure that the content is usable and accessible to all learners. And I'll just interject here, mobile learners, of course, and also those with disabilities. So you have to consider not just, you know, the typical average student. Ensuring that all learners benefit from your course is another aspect that is difficult to assess. Learners come from so many different homes and socioeconomic backgrounds, and therefore the access to connectivity and devices can be an issue. In regards to adult learners, as an instructor, how much sympathy and empathy do you give knowing the demands and pressures of life? And I would interject even with uh, younger learners, we still need to have sympathy and empathy because we're all dealing with these abnormal times. Uh, but it's hard to know how much slack to grant somebody, you know, um, you don't want to go overboard, but you don't want to be too strict either. Um, some, chal some challenges have no definite solutions. Uh, sometimes the solutions are formulated depending on the situation presented. We're going to have to rely on our own judgment. Um, so we may not have all the answers, but as teachers and learners, we're on this journey together. It's a partnership. And I could not have said it better um, because Taking a, a four week online course doesn't mean that you magically know all the answers now, but hopefully your toolkit is better equipped to um, help you find those answers and navigate the waters um, during these uh, during these times. So that was a very representative statement. Pretty much everyone commented in their self study guide that they didn't realize there was more to it than just transferring your content to an online platform that there's actually a lot more you need to take into consideration. So I was so heartened to find that everyone found something valuable in the course. Um, I thought it was valuable. I got to learn from you all. Um, so many different uh, resources and tools that you have uh, mentioned in your capstone projects and in the discussion boards that I wasn't aware of. So now I've added those to my toolkit that I can recommend to others. So um, it's been a very rewarding experience, I think, on, on both sides. Um, so did we want to move on with the presenting of the certificates, Joelle? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. perfect. So let, let me just share the screen so we can start. Um, one second, Melissa. Um, and the way, are you going to explain how so yes, well, I'm going to read through everyone who has become certified by completing this course. Um, we're just going to go alphabetically. And when I say your name, uh, please uh, turn on your camera if you haven't already so that we can see your smiling face. And uh, we can either put our accolades in the chat or there's also reactions built into Zoom here in the bottom of your screen. You can do an applause or a thumbs up. Uh, if 
you click that reactions button at the bottom of your Zoom screen there. So either way, you can applaud your, uh, your colleagues. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. So first, I would like to congratulate Marlene Abraham Finley from Granada for successfully completing this course. Thank you, Marlene. I will do a clap with my hand since you can see me <laughs> rather than clicking the button. Excellent job, Marlene. And she will be actually speaking a little bit later um, in this session as a representative of all of the participants. Next up, we have Antonia Bain from the Bahamas. Yay, Antonia. I'm gonna see if I can pull the chat up so I can see it as well. Excellent. All right, next up, we have Marva Brown from Curacao. Yay! <laughs> Yay, Marva. Excellent job. Excuse me, maybe ask the graduates to put on the camera when they are, uh, uh, when their name is called. Okay, <laughs> please put on your camera. Um, so as I said, we are alphabetical. So if I'm in the B's and your name start, last name starts with C, you know that you're on deck. <laughs> so you can get ready. Um, uh, so let's see, next up after Marva, we have Michelle Carter from Trinidad and Tobago. Michelle. So I'm, since we're sharing a screen, I'm only seeing five cameras, but if you scroll down, I think you can see more cameras. There we are. There's Michelle. <laughs> All right, excellent. Next up, we have Amya Conrad Christopher, also from Trinidad and Tobago, and I believe she's unable to be here, but Michelle was going to accept on her behalf. So thank you, Amya. Excellent. Next up, we have Jonathan Dixon from Jamaica. Congratulations, Jonathan. Good job. Next up, we have Orlando Eights from St. Martin. Orlando, let's, let me scroll and see if I can see you, Orlando. I don't see Orlando. I can only see five at a time, but I don't see him. Uh, congratulations anyway, Orlando. Thank you for all your work. Uh, next up we have uh, Narika Everts. Yay, Yay. Narika. <laughs> congratulations. Oh, there you are. I see your smiling you. face. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, next up, we have uh, Alberto Falcone from Aruba. Alberto, let's see. Do we see you, Alberto? Oh, now I see Orlando. <laughs> Hi, Orlando. <laughs> um, so I'm looking for Alberto. I don't see Alberto. If you're here, turn on your camera so we can see you. Oh, there you are. I see you, Alberto. Hi, congratulations. All right, next up we have um, Patrick Flowers from Belize. Patrick, congratulations. Hey, Patrick. All right. Are you here, Patrick? Maybe I'll switch over to gallery and put it on a different screen so I can see more people. Uh, my understanding is if the graduates say something like thank you I'm or here. hello, so then so the much. screen comes up. Gotcha. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Congratulations, Patrick. All right. Next up, we have Janelle Francis from Jamaica. Janelle. There you are. Thank I you. see you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you for your work. Next, we have Nicole Franklin from St. Vincent and Grenadines. Nicole, where are you? Are you here with us today? Oh, I see you're there. There you are. Yes, thank you. Excellent, you're welcome. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. I love seeing everybody's smiling faces. Um, next, we have uh, Levy Gearman from Aruba. Levy. Thank you so much for your work. Looking to see if I see you. Oh, let's make the screen bigger. All 
Are you here with us, Lavi? Yes, thank you. Well, thank you. Oh, is that you? This is me. <laughs> okay, well, because they have a different name in your camera. <laughs> They're in your on the screen there. Um, thanks. Thank you so much, Levy. Congratulations. Uh, next up, we have Ruthier Gums from St. Vincent and Grenadines. Ruthier, yay. There you are. Very colorful top today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruthier. Uh, next, we have Rochelle Harris from Jamaica. Michelle. Hi. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for all of your work. I love your necklace. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Next we have Shania K. Johnson from Jamaica. Hi everyone. Thank you. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, next we have Alanda Joseph from Granada. Yay, Alanda, where are you? There you are. I see you. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. There we go. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I hear those kiddos back there. <laughs> um, Sure. Okay, boys and girls, some people want to say hello. Hold on. Okay, say hello. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh. All right, so that's them, the kindergarten. Oh, thank you for introducing us. Thank you so much sure, for sure, sure. Rhonda. All right, next You're welcome. Up, next up we have Darlene Lozano from Belize. Good morning. Thank Good you. Good morning. There you are. Oh, you've got the background. I see that. Nice. Excellent. Congratulations, well Darlene. Done, Darlene. Thank Yay. you. Uh, next up we have Jason Marks from St. Martin. Yep, there he is. Hi. Hello. Thank Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Then we have Tanya Morgan Francis from Jamaica. There she is. Oh, you're muted, Tanya. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Bye. Uh, next, we have Lander uh, Pengel from uh, Curacao. Hi, Melissa. Thank you very much. Hello. Congrats to all. You're welcome. Thank you. Next, Great. we have uh, Roberta Phillip from Trinidad and Tobago. Roberta, congratulations. Looking for you on the screen. Are you here? Thank you for your hard work, Roberta. Uh, next up, we have Shalini Roberts from also from Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, thank you, thank you, everyone. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Josta Straw from Curacao. Josta, there you are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, good to see you. Uh, next we have uh, Roberta, oops, uh, no, sorry, I went back the wrong way. Carol Swan from Aruba. Carol, are you here? Yay for Carol. I don't see Carol. Thank you so much for your work, Carol, if you're here. Next, we have Anita Thomas James from Jamaica. Thank you. Anita, Thank you. yay, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Then we have Denroy Tillett from Belize. 
Morning, everyone. Thank you. Congratulations to all. Good morning. Then we have Edward Williams from Granada. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you, Edward, for your work. Uh, John Williams from St. Kitts and Nevis. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much. Ooh, coming to us from outer space, John. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, John, for your work. Um, and Teresa Wyatt from St. Kitts and Nevis. Are you here, Teresa? Congratulations, thank you. And I think that's the end of the list, right? Yes. All right, so let's give everybody a round of applause. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations. It's definitely a big accomplishment for you to have this certification. I hope you found the class useful. Con Congratulations to all graduates. Th this is really wonderful. Thank you so much, Melissa, for the certification ceremony. And uh, uh, this was wonderful to see everyone, meet everyone, and uh, and uh, and the certificates look beautiful so <laughs> yes joelle did an excellent job yes <laughs> thank you congratulations to all graduates and now we come to the a beautiful part of the ceremony the address on behalf of the participants uh, we now invite marlene abrahams uh, uh, finlay the lecture lecture uh, lecturer TA Mary Shaw Community College from Grenada to come on board and to, to present the address on behalf of all the graduates. Welcome, the floor is yours. Well, good morning to everyone. And I hope your uh, camera is on, uh, Marlene. We'd love to be able to see you as you present the address. Yeah, her camera is on. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning, Anita. Okay, so John Dewey once said, we do not learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on experience. Therefore, in keeping with his theory, please allow me to sh take you through annotations of our experiences during this four week course on blended learning and online experiences. As an introductory activity, we were required to create a word cloud for e-learning. You should have seen the level of creativity and innovation in the use of fonts, colors, shapes to conceptualize the, the meaning. We had representations in the form of a sailboat, birds in flight, graduation caps, basketball, emojis, thumbs up, and even the colors and maps of island homes were used. But it was Rochelle Harris who really encapsulated the essence by boldly articulating that e-learning must be fun. I knew we were in for an exciting journey. Our group ranged from persons with extensive experience, such as instructional designers, technologists, and trainers, to so persons with very limited or no experience in online and training and course delivery. This spread of ex expertise created the ideal environment for the establishment of a community of learners. We definitely learned from each other. But it wasn't always an easy journey. We were confronted with having to juggle the weight of our professional and personal responsibilities and finding the self-discipline to be independent learners. It was comforting to have classmates who provided the encouragement and support required to get to the finish line. It was intense, but we stuck with it and didn't give up. And today, we are celebrating the reward of our persistence and perseverance. Congratulations and heartfelt appreciation to all my fellow participants who embarked on this adventure. Our facilitators, Melissa Mertz and Joel Amando, 
was there with us every Tuesday for synchronous sessions to provide the scaffolding needed. Melissa patiently answered our questions and gave suggestions and encouragement. She even took the time to reorient us on how to use the platform repeatedly just to ensure that no one was left behind because they could not navigate the platform. The final test came when some of us needed a little more time to cross that final hurdle. We thank both of you for being so approachable and accommodating. Your flexibility and attention to individual needs exemplified what was taught in the course. You truly modeled the ideals of blended learning. Overall, the course was enlightening and informative. There were many takeaways, but please allow me to mention briefly three. One, designing and delivering an exemplary course is not a one person job, but actually requires team effort. Two, one has to be intentional about making the course usable and accessible to all learners from the onset, rather than just trying to make it up as you go along. And thirdly, finally, ongoing support is critical to student success and achievement. To the organizers of this course, UNESCO plus the Office for the Caribbean and Blackboard Academy, we applaud you for your vision in the implementation of this Caribbean Professional Development Initiative and for nurturing the spirit of collaboration and cooperation among regional member states. You have demonstrated your cognizance of the new paradigm of blended learning and online strategies in the delivery of education. Further, you have taken concrete steps towards empowering us to mitigate the challenges that this crisis of the global pandemic hurled at us. For this, we are forever grateful. To my classmates, British philosopher Herbert Spencer once said, the great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. I trust that the training met our expectations and that we are now well equipped and more confident to deliver high quality education to our students in the virtual space but more so that we feel empowered to share the knowledge and the competencies acquired with our colleagues. Today, I challenge each one of us to move beyond the acquisition of knowledge and the certificate in this case, to action. Let us keep in touch and continue the camaraderie as we move from being a community of learners to building a community of practice. I thank you. Thank you so much, Marlene, for your inspirational uh, words and for sharing your experience, but also sharing the experiences of your colleagues and uh, the whole group. Um, uh, it, it was lovely to hear uh, your words uh, of, uh, and we fully recognize the challenges all the teachers had. Uh, uh, and despite your comp competing priorities, you never gave up, you persevered. And today we have reason to celebrate and uh, to really, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is really a joyful uh, day for all of us because the success of this initiative lies in your hands and you are the ones who are making this a successful initiative. So thank you all. Thank you all graduates. And now we move to the last part of our ceremony. Um, you know, uh, I just want to, uh, uh, I just want to say that uh, uh, having today's ceremony on World Teachers Day was especially meaningful for us. Uh, we wanted to honor you all on World Teachers Day and to recognize your achievements and your hard work uh, uh, today, uh, where teachers all over the world are uh, being recognized and acknowledged for their work. The issue of teacher leadership in relation to the crises of COVID-19 responses um, is really something that we need to look at. And, and this training has been timely 
And in these critical times, when we are all facing the COVID-19 pandemic, your leadership and your contributions as teachers uh, to provide remote learning uh, to your students, uh, supporting the vulnerable uh, learners who need support uh, 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 through inclusive methodologies, and your efforts to reopen schools despite the constraints and ensure that the learning gaps in the curriculum are being met. Uh, this is really commendable. Um, I think COVID-19 has created a unique situation for teacher leadership, creativity, and innovation. And teachers in the Caribbean have really risen to demonstrate uh, the, very quickly their agility to respond to the crises and to move forward. I do want to say that the training with Blackboard was rigorous. Uh, it, uh, they were quite uh, intense cost requirements, uh, but you persevered. And this core group of 30 master teachers and trainers in the Caribbean is going to be critical in transforming how teaching and learning takes place in the Caribbean. You are the core group. You are going to lead teachers in the Caribbean towards the digital transformation, towards learning strategies that are innovative, creative, that respond to the diversity of needs of the learners and through remote, uh, through high tech, low tech and medium tech. Uh, methods. Uh, so your role is going to be really instrumental um, in, in uh, enabling that we mitigate the risks, the risks to learning due to COVID-19 and to enable our learners in the Caribbean to really uh, keep on track with their learning achievements and learning outcomes. Facing an adaptive challenge as we do today means working together. Uh, so this core group, it is very important that you stay in touch with each other, you have peer support with each other. Uh, we have all gone through this experience together. I as an observer and facilitator, but you are really at the heart of it. Uh, you have undergone the training, learned the skills, and together um, uh, uh, you, 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 can, you must be able to call on each other uh, and work together. And as Joel was mentioning in the next steps, um, uh, they are going, uh, you are going to be the facilitators of this course in the near, in the future. So, um, and, and we hope that you will work in pairs so that uh, you will pair off with others in the, uh, within this group uh, to facilitate uh, the training, not just in your own countries, but across other countries in the Caribbean. So we thank you once again, uh, graduates. Congratulations. Thank you for your wonderful efforts in bringing this work to completion. All our education partners, we thank the Jamaica National Teachers Council uh, for your support. Uh, in um, enabling us to identify teachers also in Jamaica, because um, there was a time when we didn't have, uh, uh, you know, the full 40, the number 40 that we were looking for, and the National Council of Jamaica stepped in and made some recommendations so that we could really benefit from the spots that Blackboard was making available to us. Um, uh, so now we are a group of 30. Uh, we will move forward together through the steps that uh, Joel and Melissa uh, dem showed us today, uh, and and we we look together, we look forward together to work hand in hand with you as we go uh, go through the next phases of the work. So, well done, congratulations, and uh, at this moment, I also take a, just a few seconds to thank our director who is with us today. Um, and today, she, it is a day off for her, but she feels very strongly about teachers and wanted to be with us today, uh, even though it is a day when she had other personal commitments. She has joined us to share this moment of celebration and joy with all of you today. So thank you, Director. Thank you, Latoya. 
Lucette, Katrina, and all others. Director, if you would like to say something before we wrap up uh, and then- Just, Thank you, Fariel. Just thank you very much. I have been so delighted to be here today. And uh, it didn't matter that I had the day off. This has been a made much better celebration. Thank you very much uh, for the, uh, to the instructors, to the Blackboard, to Dr. Gordon, to everyone, to the students, to the teachers. Congratulations. This is a great day, despite the very difficult uh, uh, circumstances. They are still very difficult. Thank you again. Thank you so much, Director. And, mm -hmm. and before I leave, I just would like to say something, uh, that the enthusiasm was so great. Amongst our graduates, we have a we have a special graduate, I would like to say, if I may. Every graduate is very special. But we have with us Marva Brown, who's our Secretary General uh, of the National Commission of UNESCO. And she was so committed to this idea and she wanted to take this forward uh, in her own country. And, and she asked us if, if she could join us. And, and, and I am so impressed, um, Marva, you completed all the course requirements you have graduated and and this will really be instrumental in curacao uh, I, uh, as as uh, as you uh, scale up uh, the training and scale it up within your own country uh, so we will be counting on your support not just for curacao but for the caribbean region to mobilize uh, the scaling up of the training as we move forward. Your role is going to be instrumental as we move forward. So thank you for joining us on this training. And uh, thank you to each and every graduate who is so special. The day is yours. Celebr uh, celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity given to Curacao also. Of course. We look forward to continuing the next level up. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Blackboard, Joel, Melissa, all graduates. Goodbye. Enjoy your days. Thank Goodbye. you very much. Bye. Congratulations, Bye. all. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Have a Bye good everyone. day. Bye. Till we meet again. Bye. Till we meet again. We meet not again. Thank you all for celebrating. It was a great session. This is not the end. This is the beginning. <laughs> This is the beginning okay. of the journey. Right on. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 Everyone. Select all. Bye. bye. <laughs>